home of the Alamo, Riverwalk, and for a week this summer, host city for a conference that brought in thousands of state lawmakers and members of their staffs from across the country. It's really a great opportunity, um, a great place to come and network and you meet a lot of people. There's probably over 5,000 people down here. The idea of the National Conference of State Legislatures, or NCSL, is to learn what works and what doesn't. So lawmakers, let's go to the woman on the front, including those you've elected from Oklahoma, can bring the ideas back home. And where there are legislators, there are often lobbyists. Oh, here you go. Some are in plain sight. Several companies even paid up to 25 grand to support the conference. Others are more low key. With cameras rolling, Two News joined five other Scripps TV stations from across the country. We found lobbyists talking to legislators at bars, private parties, and even spotted some attendees visiting the Cowboys practice who were just blocks away from the conference at the Alamo Dome. All legal. These events are places where politicians can gather expertise, but it's also a place for the uh, influence industry to, to try to kind of pitch woo, to, to try to help them understand the concerns of their clients and ultimately bring them uh, toward their legislative agenda. As for the 10 members of Oklahoma's delegation, we didn't year. find any of them attending private parties hosted by lobbyists. And we checked travel records. All paid their own way. The reality is that the legislators in Oklahoma have not used any tax dollars to get here. I mean, most of us are paying our way lock, stock, and barrel because it's just important for us to be here. Still, you didn't have to go to a party to find a lobbyist. There are hundreds of groups here that have exhibit booths. Some are nonprofits like the Easter Seals, and others are for profit representing pharmaceutical companies. But the question is just because they're here, does that influence legislation? I haven't been to the exhibit hall in probably three or four years. You've got to learn real quick that someone buys you a dinner, you've got to be able to tell them no the next morning. If you're not prepared for me to vote no against your bill on Tuesday, it's really not going to influence, you know, a vote that we have. Don't offer me dinner on Monday. In fact, each lawmaker we talked to said their only agenda was to make Oklahoma better. They're here to learn and really try to make a difference back home. The top issues for our legislators were prison overcrowding, managing state pensions, education, and tax reform. All issues we'll be following up on when the session starts in 2012. Marla Carter, 2 News, works for you.